Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing seven mystery riddles only the smartest 5% can solve. So are you guys the smartest 5% or am I? I don't know, we'll see. Here goes. We're all familiar with typical IQ tests that rate your intelligence level. I have a really high IQ, FYI, so just saying, just putting that out there. But there are some other ways to find out what your inner genius can do. Excuse me. We found several riddles that only a few people can figure out. Here we go. Number okay, seven, here we go. jailbreak. Jailbreak. Jack is placed in a cell. Jack is placed in a cell with the dirt floor. No, only one window position so high no one could reach it. The cell is empty, except for a shovel. It's hot and dry there, but Jack won't get any food or drink anytime soon. He has only two days to break out of the jail. If not, he'll die. We know what you have immediately thought, but no, digging a tunnel is not an option as it will take more than two days. So how should Jack escape the cell? What's your guess? Don't forget, you can pause the video to have more time to think. Um, I mean, there's only two do two sides of the cell, so is there another way out? Or did he say that there was no way out? Use. Oh, I have it. He takes his clothes off. He ties it to the shovel. He throws the shovel through the window, over the window, as a hook and he climbs out to freedom. I feel like that's that's the answer. He has only two days to break out of the jail. And it if won't not, take two days. He'll die. Okay, okay. All set, here's the answer. Well, the way out for Jack turned out to be a piece of cake. He had to use the shovel to make a pile of dirt under the window, climb on it, and escape from the cell. Seriously, who secures prisoners this way? Okay, well, honestly, my answer also could have worked so i feel like i came up with the answer that also could have worked but like wasn't the right answer so i honestly am probably like more creative and like smarter on the first day of the school year a geography teacher was murdered the police had as many as four suspects they were the gardener the math teacher the coach and even the school principal yeah i vote for the principal now, the sticking point was that they all had alibis. The gardener was cutting bushes. The math teacher was holding a mid-year test. The coach was playing basketball. The principal was in the office. Despite this, the killer was arrested immediately. You have 15 seconds to fuck. I don't, I feel like with these riddles, you have to like think outside the box. I honestly feel like it's always like the people you like least think it was. So like I want to say the math teacher, but also the gym teacher sus as well. But also the principal's office. Well, the gardener cutting bushes. Like it's like are these even true alibis? Like, oh, I got it. I got it. I literally know the answer. The math teacher, because it was the first day of school and you can't hold a mid-year test on the first day of school. Duh. Find the killer. <laughs> I'm so smart. It's crazy. I'm literally a genius. The killer was the math teacher. According to his own words, he was holding a mid-year test, but the crime happened on the first day of the school year. Ding, I got it right. Better, don't you think? A serial Moving killer on. had a particular practice going. He kidnapped people and made them take one of two pills. One was harmless, the other was poisonous. Whichever pill a victim took, the serial killer took the other one. Then the scheme repeated itself continuously. Victims took their pills with water and died. The killer repeatedly survived. How did he always get the harmless pill? Good luck. Your time has started. Uh, because he freaking didn't actually take the pill. Duh. Like, I don't understand. Or he would pick first. Take one of two pills. One was harmless. The other was poisonous. Yeah, he made them take Whichever the poisonous the one. Took, the serial killer took the other one. Then the scheme repeated itself continuously. Victims took their... Oh, because... They're both poisonous, but 
this guy uh, built up an immunity to it. Pills with Duh. The killer repeatedly survived. How did he always get the harmless pill? Good luck. Your time has started. These are dark. Who comes up with these riddles? I already know my answer. Here's the answer. The serial killer was tricking people. The poison was in the glass of water his victims drank, not in the pill. Oh, that stinks. So unfair. Okay. Anyway, number two. Frozen Dang it. Windows. Well, I got that one wrong. I only got one right. On a cold winter day, a tragedy happened. John found his friend dead in his own house. John called the police and said he was just passing by Jack's house when he decided to drop by to see him. He had been knocking and ringing the bell for a long time. However, all was silent. Perhaps Jack wasn't at home. But John could very well see the light in the room through a frozen window. He breathed on the ice window glass and saw Jack on the floor. Unexpectedly for John, the police arrested him as the main suspect. Why? 15 seconds to go. Because uh, there was probably footsteps. His footsteps matched. The ones from his door? Oh, because he, it was frozen from the outside in, inside out. I don't know. These are so dumb. Like literally the answers are so like stupid. Obviously, John hasn't thought his legend through. He wouldn't be able to unfreeze the window glass because it's usually icy on the inside. And finally, number one, chemical substances. A I'm famous doing... chemist was murdered in his lab. There was no evidence found except for a piece of paper with the names of chemical substances on it. On the day he was murdered, the chemist had only three visitors, his wife, Mary, his nephew, Nicholas, and his friend, Jonathan. The police arrested the murderer right away. How did they know who it was? A little hint. Pay closer attention to the note. I feel like nickel isn't really a chemical. The answer is hidden in the note. This piece of paper had a clue. If you combine the short names of the chemical substances on the paper, you'll get a name N I C O L A S. Even dying, this man remained a real chemist. Speaking of chemists, here's one for you. Johnny was a chemist's son, but Johnny is no more. For what he thought was H2O was H2SO4, which is, of course, sulfuric acid. Oops. Well, did you manage to solve these detective riddles? The last one wasn't even like a riddle. It was like a read between the lines type of thing. I don't know. I feel like the answers to these are so just like... I don't know, maybe it's because I got them wrong. I feel that way, but I just feel like they were like kind of dumb. Like, what do the comments have to say? I literally thought Jack should stick the shovel in the ground tightly, get on the shovel and escape from the window. I thought that too. Okay. You literally said that one of the two pills has poison in it and now the poison is in the water. Wow. One was harmless, the other was poisonous. Like, literally, that's what I was saying. Like, my answer was so much better, was that he had an immunity, so he could take both pills, even if they were both poisonous, because he's immune. Windows frozen inside indicates poor installation. I live in Wisconsin, and my windows never get icy inside my home. How is that obvious? That was the only one I couldn't figure out. I was thinking it's because the footsteps in the snow, which honestly is like a really good one, I feel like. But whatever, I don't know, I guess I got that one wrong. I got one of them right, the math teacher. That one was easy. All right guys, comment down below if you got any of these right too because um, some of them were stupid so it doesn't matter if you did or didn't because they were dumb. But the ones that you did get right, comment down below. And thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time, bye.